a, a trip. I'm here walking through the Volcanic National Park, uh, just past the sulfur beds back there. Those things are covering steam, which is covering the lava. Oof, beautiful. Also feels like a human sacrifice is about to happen. And it's crazy, someone like stepped in there once and got third degree burns all up and down. So you have to stay on the path, but man, today was a trip. This is something, I'm walking, look at all this stuff. This is like 70 pound pack right now. This thing is heavy, it's digging into my shoulders there. But you know, you gotta bring stuff. I got a $30 tent from, from Sears. That was a story in itself. Customer service ordered it online to pick up in the store. They said they didn't have it, so we had to cancel the order. Then we had to reorder it and they sent it to a different store. So I had to cancel that order. Then I had to go in and finally I was like, you know what, screw it, I'll just buy it. And so the online stuff's happening, but it's only 30 bucks, you know? Um, but no, this is, I'm stoked. I'm gonna go camp tonight in a park just si outside of the volcano, and then I'm gonna go in and see the actual steam uh, Jager Park or something, where you can see the glow of lava. So you don't actually get to see like flowing lava. That's like a really expensive boat trip. Can't afford that. I actually like this, traveling with no money, being poor. It's really cool. It's like, I mean, I looked at myself in the mirror today, because I don't have mirrors posted all around the farm. And I was like, holy crap, man. You look like a freaking caveman. Like, your hair is everywhere, unkept. You you haven't shaved since you got here, you know? It, it, you wear weird outfits, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I mean, I was in a back of a pickup truck with like super hippie guys and his girlfriend. Hey, what's up guys? In the back of a truck right now. Crazy, you know, you never know what you get with hitchhiking. Then I was in another pickup truck, and then on the way up, I got a ride with a lady who ran a porn business. It's like the people you meet is just like, wow, this is something. So, you know what? I'm getting such a rush out of it, traveling by yourself, traveling with no money, and playing it by ear. Really not listening to all the news, all the scare tactics that they try and, and cram down your throat of how you hitchhike and you get kidnapped and then you die. Or if you camp on a beach, someone will come up with an ax and they will chop your head off. Or if you stay on a farm with strangers that you meet on the internet, they will rape and kill you. You know, like all these weird scary stories that we hear, you never hear any of the good stuff. And it's really like, this has been a blast. I haven't had a single problem since I got here. Um, Cause if you have a small, a big problem, you're a small person. You know, I love that one. All right guys, well I'll show you what it looks like tonight, but from the big island in Hawaii, aloha. What's up guys? It is 7 o'clock. Just got out of there before the park ranger came to collect the fees, so I lucked out. Got a free 99 night stay. <laughs> I'm showing you this map because I have no clue what to do today. Um, I'm thinking, like, there's, there's all these trails down here that I could go to and, and see running lava, but that shit's like probably 11, if not 13 miles away. And I'm already on, I'm already on highway. 11 right here If I go that way I get to Kona if I get that way. I get back to Hilo So I'm thinking I Thinking I might just go to Kona today. Let's see if I can hitch a ride It's like two hours in that direction But the cool thing about an island is that if you get on the road, it's pretty much goes all the way around So <laughs> Halfway around is really the same as the other way uh, But yeah, I think I'll go to Kona today I guess I just decided on that. Seven o'clock, so we'll see who picks me up. Hitching around the island. This is uh, 
the not so glamorous side. It's beautiful though. I mean, 360 right there. Over there, see the road. Yeah, it's cool. Just want to show you guys. What's up guys? Just kicking it in Kona right now. Been super chill, haven't been doing anything. Just finding out uh, what happens next, what to do, where to sleep tonight, getting all that stuff. But in order to do that, you gotta meet some people. And met this one dude who told me my next location, where to sleep. This thing might actually turn off dead. This beach I'm going to that you're not allowed to sleep at, but he gave me some inside, inside information about how you can. But he was telling me, what was even cool than that is him telling me, we must have talked, his name was Kevin, blonde dreadlocks, really shaggy hair, like typical movie guy. And it, this was like straight out of a movie. We must have talked for an hour, two hours maybe. He was just telling me, he ran his little music shop. And I was sitting there playing the little ukulele guitars, messing around, and when all the customers left, you could tell he kind of, gave me the look because I had my pack on, I didn't have any shoes on, my hair is scruffy, I haven't shaved in a month. He gave me the look that we had something in common. And it was that he, he, he began to tell me that he was doing exactly what I was doing. But I mean, way more intense. If, if I'm an amateur, he's a pro. He told me, Kevin went on to tell me about all these train hopping stories where he would just get on trains with maybe like a couple kids, but you meet people along the way. No money, no anything, no food, and you would just go. And you just get on this train, and it would just hop everywhere. And he told me all these times he got arrested, stuff like that, how he didn't have any food, so he'd eat chili. It was just like so entertaining. Kind of, maybe the best two hours of Yo my peeps. day. peeps, this is the digs for the night. I don't know where the beach is, Apparently this gate right here, Kevin was telling me back in town, closes at 7, you're supposed to get the heck out of here, but let's see what it says. Rules of enjoyment. No camping. Good thing I'm, uh, alright. Please do not litter. Okay. Alright, well, no camping, camping style. Hey yo, check tonight's sleeping situations out. Oh yeah, baby. It's my cave. That's what I call the man cave. Morning guys. How does this look for sleeping? The ocean. My stuff. The sunrise right there. Gorgeous. Doesn't get any better. I just uh, slept there last night. It was pretty windy. Was going to go with the cave, the man cave that I showed you earlier. But the park gets closed at, I think, 7 or something. And so they come through and kick everyone out. And so I didn't want to get kicked out for squatting. So I just moved. It's like right over there past that curve is where I was. So I hiked in all the way over here to what you see now. <laughs> 